out in a different car today. I'm actually really excited for what we're gonna be doing today. Finally gonna be putting on my demon eyes for my car. And I'm also gonna be painting my housings black. Huge shout out to Lit Lights for sending these out to me. I've seen a lot of people rocking Lit Lights, so I gave it a shot. So if you guys want any headlight products, hit up Lit Lights on Instagram. They carry halos, demon eyes, I believe like custom spec D headlights. So super cool, hit them up on Instagram and tell them I sent you. I'm honestly really nervous to open my headlights because I've never done it before, but I think it should be good. Just got back from Pep Boys right now to buy the paint and we're gonna get started right away. So it's super easy to take off the headlights. It's literally like four bolts. Uh, one right here, you have to pop this one off. Another one right here. And then there's also one in there. And then another one on the side right here. So don't forget to unplug your headlight bulbs as well, which I'm doing right now. All right, now you just spray over the lens and that's pretty much it. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, we're gonna be opening this up and I just don't feel like putting it in an oven. So I'm just gonna try the heat gun method and if it doesn't work, then I'll throw it in the oven, but it doesn't hurt to try. Actually wasn't bad at all. What like five minutes? Ten, Ten minutes. We were like, oh shit. It wasn't bad at all. Like as he was pulling it, I was just hitting it with the heat gun and it came off pretty easy to be honest. So I just couldn't find a way to mount it just how it came. So if I were to try like this, it just wouldn't fit. It couldn't stand up because it hits up against the projector. So basically what I did is I unbolted this little plastic piece off of the demon eye and I flipped it around to the back side as you can see right here. So it now faces the other way. Then since the sides were too long, like these holes are here, I trimmed this off because they were just too long. So the end product looks like this. So now I can literally fit it inside of the projector like this and the light faces the right way, which would be inside towards the projector. So now all I have to do is get a little screw with a washer Put this right here. So we're not drilling through the plastic at all. We're literally just clamping it down with a little washer. Flip this. Bam, just like that. Mounted pretty sturdy now. It's just clamped down with a little washer. So yeah, now we're gonna figure out a way to wire this. All right, so we just figured out the whole wiring situation. The app right here, yellow strobe, white strobe flash. And I think it can change the speed. Oh, that is so sick! Look, I can like change the speed. That's sick. Then I can like change the color, green. So here we have the little control box or the Bluetooth box I should say. This runs a wire along to the battery and then from the other wire it runs to the headlight. Just tested it just to see if it works first and then after I get all this situated I'll go ahead and tuck these wires and make it look nice and pretty in the engine bay. The wiring from the Demon Eye. Um, I literally just threw the wire through the back, through the back, and then out through this little grommet. What is it called? A grommet? Yeah. Grommet. <laughs> so I just had it sticking out through the bottom of this grommet. So that should work it's out, and then this will attach to the box. I think that'll do for the whole wiring. Basically, now I have to work with painting my housings black because I haven't even touched those yet. Taken apart, like <laughs> I have nothing on the front, and then my whole headlight is like disassembled. Dude, it's like crazy. Project car. <laughs> it's fun though, not gonna lie. Two hours later. So I just finished blacking out the housings. I also blacked out the part where the high beams go, um, just because I didn't want any chrome showing. So 
He's honestly look really, really good. So I'm reusing the glue that was on the headlights to begin with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all together and then I'm going to heat the headlight up with the heat gun um, all around where the glue is. And then I'm going to press it together and then screw the bolts in and um, let the glue dry like that.